text for today is Psalm 115, verse 15, which says, Precious in the, in the eyes of the Lord, precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful ones. Amen. Now, you might be asking why I chose um, that text for today, which says, um, Precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful ones. And it's because um, I think sometimes we, we forget, I mean, how many of our, our fellow brothers and sisters in the Lord not only present but past as well going all the way back to the resurrection event itself have have defended and literally laid down their life going through physical flames to 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 protect preserve and proclaim preach the gospel like like really let that sink in like that I mean like like um that's how you. That's that's proof in and of itself of the of of our faith is uh, is 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 solely of God and not of man. I mean, I mean, I mean. There was nothing to get for the first century disciples. There was nothing of them for them to gain, proclaiming the resurrection from the dead of Jesus Christ. I mean, there, there was no money in for them. They, they they were they as Jesus said they were they were excommunicated from the synagogue. They they were you know, rejected by friends and family. So, ultimately, ultimately, that's how we know that our faith is a living hope. Uh, and, um, and that it, regeneration of the Holy Spirit is connected with, with the resur with resurrection, with the resurrection of Jesus Christ. So, I, I just share that because I'm like, it just amazes me the dedication uh, by, by, by the, by the, uh, the devoted followers of Christ that came before us. It, it, it really boggles my mind. Um, especially, um, like, one of my favorite quotes was what Martin Luther said when he was asked to, when, the Rev, when God first started using him in the Reformation, and it, was, and it wasn't to simply rebel, it was to reform the church back to a biblical foundation. And when he stood before, you know, ruling councils and everything, he must have been very, so terrified when they asked him to recant his statements. And he, he, and that he asked to, to go home and pray first. So he went home that night and prayed on his knees. And then he came back, and the words he spoke to them were, were this, and I just love this quote. He said, Unless I am convinced by scripture or by clear reason that I am in error, for popes and councils have often erred and contradicted themselves, I cannot recant. For my conscience is captive, my conscience is captive to the word of God. Here I stand, I cannot do otherwise, so help me God. Amen. I mean, that, that just, that, that, that's just, that's the kind of courage that can only come from the Holy Spirit. I mean, I mean, and for when you're born again of the Holy Spirit, that's what God's word becomes to you. It becomes living and active, as Hebrews says sharper than any two-edged sword that pierces to the very bone and marrow. And and like Martin Luther said, it, it, it our conscience becomes captive to the Word of God. It's one and the same. Which is why when someone asks us to go to 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 go against its authority, we if the Holy Spirit's dwelling in us by God's grace, we can't do that. And and that's why it, it just amazes me that when you take a stand for Christ, even if you're standing alone, it puts a smile on our Lord's face. It really does. I mean, like, 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 like when, um, when I quoted that quote from Charles Spurgeon in my last video, that, that just because the majority accepts something doesn't make it right. So, 
anyway, I, I just want to say that as our Lord says, you know, when you encounter various trials, rejoice and be glad. Like, I mean, if you're suffering for your own sins, then that's different. Like, you know, if, you, if you're willfully angry. But if you're speaking the truth with love and compassion and, and, and the grace of God flowing through you, and people persecute you and hate you for that, Jesus says, rejoice and be glad, for great is your reward in heaven. I mean, and, and, uh, and if, we, if we love people, we won't water down the gospel. Because it's the gospel, as Romans says, that's the power of God to salvation to all who believe. And, and God is still in the process of gathering his elect people to himself. Like, his sheep, like Jesus says, my sheep hear my voice. I know them and they follow me. And I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. Nor shall anyone snatch them out of my hand. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all and no one is able to snatch them out of the Father's hand. Um, and that just is so comforting. So I just wanted to do this quick video as a word of encouragement. You can tell, um, you can see the water in the background. I'm doing this um, by the uh, beach wall. And I just did a video here because it's su such a beautiful day that our Lord's made today. I just can't get over marveling over creation. I really can't. So anyway, I'll just uh, leave you with that and just say, God is good all the time, and all the time, God is good. <laughs>